Hello everyone, this is Baylor from LDDCreations.com and in this video I want to show you how to use LDD. So you may have not have heard of LDD. Um, it's made by Lego and it allows you to build Legos in a digital format on your computer. Now Lego has actually renamed this software recently and it's now called Design By Me. So you may have seen that in the Lego catalog and magazine that comes every few months. So I want to show you how to use it because there aren't very many videos on how to use it and it is somewhat complicated and difficult to get used to at first. So I'm going to show you this is where you can actually get LDD or Design By Me, whichever you want to call it. It's ldd.lego.com and you'll just go to the download link and you can get it for Macintosh OS X or Windows PC. Okay, so you can get that and download it and install it and you're set to go. So once you have it, you can open it up by going to however you open up your programs on your computer. And I already have it open, here it is. <clears throat> and this is what you should see when you first turn it on. And you can see there are starter models so you can get used to learn, you can kind of use what Legos already presented you to kind of play with. Or you can go build something by yourself on your own. Okay, so I'm going to choose free build because I want to actually build this from scratch and just play around with the program. And the first thing I'm going to do is hide this little palette on the side because it's kind of in the way. And that's it. That's the, You can see here that in this main view, I actually have um, this big Lego transparent, Lego transparent Lego piece here. And that's actually where you put your pieces to build it. So what I'm going to start off with is just a flat piece. So you can see it here. It's just this flat plate. Okay, so here I can actually choose the type of piece I want to add. So I'm going to add a, I don't know, I'm going to add this I'm going to a really big flat piece to kind of start off with a model. So I'm going to choose this piece here. Okay. And the way I'm actually rotating with this is if you right-click with your mouse, and move your mouse back and forth, you can actually move around in this 3D space. If you don't like to do that, you can use these arrow keys, by the way. Okay? And to actually kind of move the camera, if you right-click on a Lego piece, it'll actually move it. So if I take another piece and I move it over here, and I want to see it better, I can right-click on it, and it takes me to that piece. So that's how you can kind of navigate in uh, LDD. So what I want to do is just kind of put pieces on this and actually kind of make something weird. So what I want to do is just scroll up and collapse this window here. And I'm going to add a brick, and I'm just going to find something that's approximately 8 in length. That should do it. Now, I want to duplicate this this piece. So there are a couple ways that you can actually copy and paste pieces in LDD. So the first thing that you can do is you can come down and choose the clone tool and then you can actually click on the piece that you want to clone and you click on it and you can see that now I'm actually able to drag this piece and place it where I want to. Another thing that you can do is if you take your normal selection tool if you click on the piece where it's highlighted in blue and press C on the keyboard, it also clones it. Okay, so you have a couple ways to actually clone tools. So if I make a selection by just dragging and selecting all these pieces and press C, you can see that I made a selection and I can try to position this on top to make it two stories tall, which it's not really wanting to do for me right now. Okay, so maybe I won't do that. Okay, so what if you accidentally click on a piece, accidentally clone it, and you don't want to do that? What you can do is press the escape key, and that just takes it off of what you're dragging. Okay, so I accidentally drag this piece, like, oh no, I don't want to do that. Just press escape, and it automatically puts it back for you. Which is great, because if I was trying to navigate, and I accidentally left-click, drag this piece, escape, and I put it back. So here's another thing. You notice that right now I have all these pieces here, and if I want to collapse this big window, I have to go all, scroll to the top and do that, which isn't a big deal. But if I had two or three of these things open and I wanted to try to collapse them all, it would take a long time. 
So what you could do in Lego Digital Designer is if you click on this big link or this big button on the far left, you can actually collapse all the pieces. Okay, so that makes it a lot easier to navigate through LDD's pieces box, whatever. One thing that I like to do though is drag this out so I actually can see more pieces at a time because I, I don't really need all this space here. I'd rather see all my pieces. So that's something you can do is you can drag this and make it however big you want it. And if you don't want to see it, you can actually just click that little arrow key. Okay. One, another thing that's not um, fun to do, or not necessarily fun, but e great to do, is you can sort by colors. So if I click on this, piece, this link, if I was looking for a transparent white piece, I could click on this, and now I can only see the transparent white pieces, which makes it a lot easier when you're looking for stuff. And then to remove that filter, you can just click on this little button here. It actually removes all the filters. If you were looking for, like, let's say I was looking for this black piece, I think, and maybe something else. Yeah, you can see that you have access to filter it. So I don't know a lot about that. I, I haven't really played with that feature. One thing that's great, that's always fun to do, and it could really save time, is if I was using a minifig on a regular basis. So I'm going to just try to build a minifig here just to give a demonstration. So if the pieces will load quick enough, I'm just going to place a minifig here, a torso, and I'm going to go up and grab a head. So I'll do this one because he's funny looking. Okay, yeah, I want my pieces to be purchasable. Um, which is something that I'm not. Okay, so I need to delete him. So I want this to be a purchasable, purchasable set. So we'll use this guy. Okay, so what if I wanted to use this minifig multiple times? Well, I'm sure you're thinking, well, I could drag like this entire thing, press C and clone it, and I would have two or three different ones. But what if you needed this outside of this specific Lego set? What you could do is if you make a selection, okay, so I select it, I come over to my groups section or tab, and I say I want to create a group from this selection. Now you see I have this little, I have this group that I can actually use, and I can delete this guy. Well, perhaps I should have learned to use it a bit better. Oh, that actually makes it where you can... Okay, I meant templates, not groups. I'm sorry. So let me put that minifig back here, okay? And if... Yes, if I go to templates here, and I make a selection... Okay, so I may have confused you. Let's just go back, start over. If I had just... I just made my minifig, okay? I make a selection, I go to templates, and I choose this create a template from a selection... Now I have this minifig, and I can click on it, and I can just create minifigs. And what's cool is what I'm going to do is just create a new file. I don't want to save this, and I'm just going to open up a file that we already have open. So I'll do the CIS heavy turret. I can click on this, and I can add this minifig to the set. So you could actually create minifigs and keep them on multiple, just easily open them up for multiple files. So what if I wanted? Now I'm gonna. I'm kind of going through quite a few features. I'm not. I'm trying to just get a general, more big idea as what you can do with LDD. I'm not a big fan of the clone tool, and I, the reason I'm not a big fan of it is because I use the copy and paste, copy and paste feature on my computer all the time. Whether I'm working with text or documents or whatever I'm doing, I love copy and pasting stuff. So one thing that's always great to have is the copy and paste. And LDD actually does that. You can copy and paste pieces in LDD. So what I do is, let's say I was building a platform, and I'm just going to go to their template and grab this thing here. Okay. Let's say I wanted to grab this piece and copy it. I could just press Command, or actually go to Edit, Copy, and you'll see the keyboard shortcut on your computer. It's different for Windows, for Mac. On Macs, it's Command-C, and on PCs, it's Control-C. So that's just the difference. 
But if I click on that, you can see that I can copy and paste, and it's exactly the same as the clone tool. The only difference is if I make a selection here, and let's say I wanted these two pieces here, if I hit Command C, Control C on a PC, and I open up another file that I already have, and I'm just going to open the CIS Heavy Turret up, and I hit Edit Paste, you can see that I have these two bricks to look at, okay, and I could place them wherever I wanted to. So that's just a great feature. Another thing that you can do if you want to import an entire model, you can go to File, Import, and here I could navigate to another creation that we have, so Projects. I'm gonna go with a dinosaur vehicle that I've made. And you can see now I have this vehicle here, okay, that I can just put on here. So um, what I want to show you now is the selection tool. So you may notice on the selection tool that it has that little arrow above it. Well, what that means is if you click on it, you have all sorts of different options. So with the multiple selection tool, what I could do is I could click on just multiple pieces like that, and it selects all of them. And yeah, so I can select multiple pieces at once. Another thing that I can do is I can select all the pieces connected to each other. And this is great. Like, if I built this car and I wanted to make sure everything was connected, if I click on this with this tool selected, you can see I've selected the entire car. And I can drag this car around and I can make sure that all the pieces are connected. Another thing that you have is all the pieces by this color. Okay, so if I click on this, you can see it selected all the black pieces. If I click on this one, you can see it selects the light gray pieces, okay? The, no the next one is this shape selection tool. So what that does is it makes it where you select all the pieces that are the same type. So if I click on this one here, you can see that it selected all the little round one stud pieces, okay? But here's the problem. It even selected these transparent one stud pieces on the car and this re the red transparent pieces on the missiles. So what you can do is on the last one, you have the shape and color. So if I click on this transparent one, it only selects the white transparent one-piece studs, and it doesn't select all these others that I didn't really want. Okay, so that's that makes it navigating in LDD a bit faster and easier. Another thing that you can do is use the hinge tool. So if I come over to this car, I'm going to zoom in a bit. If I take the click the hinge tool, and I click on this little plate, and now it's somewhat difficult to actually get what you're looking for, but when you do, it's great, because you can see now I can rotate this and just see how well can it rotate, and you can see this rotates a lot. So that you have quite a few different tools. You have the paint tool, so I can actually click on a piece, and it shows me the different colors that piece is in, available in, so I could change it to that color. And you also have the undo and redo buttons, so just remember those. Those are very useful. The only problem with the undo feature right now is if I save this file, I can no longer undo. So if I save this right now and I try to undo, I couldn't get rid of my car. I would have to delete it and then save it again. So just be it, it's good to save frequently, but if you save, then you can't undo anymore. So it, it's kind of... You need both features at once, but you can't really have them. So you just have to compromise and figure out when it's best to do whatever. And the last tool that I'm going to show you is the hide tool. So what you can do with the hide tool is there's a missile inside of this gun. But, and I want to see it, but I don't want to delete the pieces. So what I can do is I can click on the hide tool, and it's similar to deleting pieces, but it doesn't actually delete them. So you can see I can kind of remove these pieces all the way around it, so I can actually see the little missile inside of this. And it's really deep inside of there, actually. Well, there's the missile. Now if I take my selection tool, I can select this missile and pull it out. And then when you want to put those pieces back, you can click the Show All Hidden Bricks button, and it puts all the bricks back. So that's a great feature that LDD has added, or LEGO has added to this program. So if you have any questions and you want to know more about this, Ask me in the comment section. I will be free to answer any questions and try to help you understand what you can do. Now, I can't help you with building techniques because that's something that you have to get 
do on your own. And it takes a while to get used to building in LDD, but once you understand it, it's great. So thanks for watching this video and goodbye.